This is BBC News, broadcasting to viewers in the UK and around the world. I'm Marianne Mashiri, the latest headlines. Fans gather as England kicks off against the USA in the Three Lions second match of the Qatar World Cup. These are the pictures just outside the Albite Stadium in Doha. I'm Nomi Rickbell, uh, trying to play a game of spot the England fans. Um, I've spotted a few uh, here in a very packed beer garden in DC, ready to watch England and the US face off. Wales is left devastated and in danger of crashing out of their first World Cup since 1958. Other news, Hesson under bombardment. Now hospital patients are being evacuated from the recently liberated Ukrainian city because of constant Russian shelling. Meanwhile, in England, Wales and Northern Ireland, nurses also set to strike for two days before Christmas, the biggest walkout in the history of the health service. And a busy day, boxing up bargains on Black Friday across the world. Amid early signs, sales have been good. It's day six of the FIFA World Cup in Qatar. The match between England and USA has just kicked off. England can secure qualification for the knockout stages if they beat the USA. Well, England's captain Harry Kane has been declared fit after he suffered an ankle injury in Monday's win over Iran. As for the USA, well, they'll be looking for their first three points after drawing with Wales. It's been another dramatic day in Qatar with the hosts eliminated and Iran beating Wales with two stoppage time goals. We'll look at some of the action in a moment, but first let's see how fans from both sides of the Atlantic are handling the pressure in the game, which just kicked off a couple of minutes ago. I want to cross live, first of all, to our correspondent Nomia Iqbal, who is in Washington. And you're at a beer garden, Nomia. How excited are US fans for this match? Well, let's take you live now to a fan zone in South London. Why? Well, because if you are a football fan, you'll know that the World Cup is happening. And what is happening right now is England versus the United States. 25 minutes in, it's still nil-nil. The USA have just missed quite a good chance, but uh, the England fans are pretty quiet. No goals so far. It's important that England win this because if they do, they'll be guaranteed a place in the next round. If the USA win, they're still in the game. So a lot to play for both both teams. I'm sure you will be following us here on the BBC to get the latest on that match. But for me and the team, bye bye. BBC News with the latest headlines. England's footballers are on the field against the USA at the World Cup in Qatar. England would secure their place in the knockout stages if they win. Nil-nil at half-time, a slightly nervy start from England. So what do the fans make of it? We'll be finding out in a few minutes' time. I'm Nomia Iqbal here in a packed out bar in Washington DC. It's not quite going England's way. The US is really testing them. We'll check in with fans in a moment. Other news, Hesson under bombardment. Now hospital patients are being evacuated from the recently liberated Ukrainian city because of constant Russian shelling. Meanwhile, in England, Wales and Northern Ireland, nurses are set to strike for two days before Christmas, the biggest walkout in the history of the health service. And a busy day, boxing up bargains on Black Friday across the world amid early signs sales have been good.
Hello and welcome if you're watching in the UK, on PBS in the US or around the world. It's day six of the FIFA World Cup in Qatar and the match between England and USA is halfway through. England could secure qualification for the knockout stages if they beat the United States. Well, as for the USA, they'll be looking for their first three points after drawing with Wales. You're watching BBC News. This is BBC News. The headlines. England's footballers are on the field against the USA at the World Cup in Qatar. England would secure their place in the knockout stages if they win. The governor of Kherson in southern Ukraine says hospital patients are being evacuated because of the constant shelling by the Russian forces. Here in England, Wales and Northern Ireland, nurses are set to stay before Christmas. It will potentially be the biggest walkout by staff in the history of the health service in Britain. Yes. President Vladimir Putin of Russia has urged families of Russian servicemen fighting in the war against Ukraine not to believe what they read online about the war. He made the comment during a televised meeting with a group of women described as mothers of service personnel. This is BBC World News with the latest news and results from around the globe. Sport Today. There are Molly Foster. We are live at the BBC Sports Centre. Here's what's coming up for you on Sport Today. All over for the host. Qatar kicked out of their World Cup party at the earliest opportunity. There's hope for Iran as they clinch an injury time win over Wales to keep their tournament alive. We're going to get the latest from the Johannesburg Open as well, where an Englishman leads the way. Hello there, welcome along to the programme, wherever you're watching in the world. You know what, it's been a World Cup that they've been preparing for on and off the field for more than a decade, but after just two games, Qatar know that they'll play no part in the knockout stage. Uh, Harry Kane has just got his head in his hands, the England captain. He had a clean header, but then put it wide. Uh, England against the USA in Group B at the World Cup. It is goalless in the final minute of injury time. That leaves Group B fairly open from me and the rest of the team. Goodbye. This is BBC News, the latest headlines for viewers in the UK and around the world. In the World Cup in Qatar, England's crucial game against the United States ends in a goalless draw. And I'm Nesta McGregor in Doha. All the reaction to tonight's game coming up. Nil-nil, certainly not the result many England fans were expecting, but the USA, well, many fans of theirs will be absolutely delighted. We'll be talking to some of them in just a moment. In other news, Kherson under attack. Now hospital patients are being evacuated from the Ukrainian city because of constant Russian shelling. Nurses in England, Wales and Northern Ireland will walk out on the 15th and 20th of December in a dispute over pay, the first time they've gone on strike. The world's longest-running theatre production, Agatha Christie's The Mousetrap, celebrates an incredible 70 years in London's West End.
Well, it is day six of the FIFA World Cup in Qatar and the match between England and USA has just wrapped up. After 90 minutes of play, both sides failed to score a goal, ending the match in a nil-nil draw. This means that all four teams in Group B could still qualify for the knockout stage. Now England are ranked fifth in the world, remember, and the USA are ranked 16th. But England had previously never beaten the USA on a World Cup stage, losing once and drawing another. I have to say, I've never watched The Mousetrap. Might have to book myself some tickets quite soon. You're watching BBC News. Stay with us. Plenty more to come in a few minutes. This is BBC World News America. I'm Mariam Mashiri. At the World Cup in Qatar, the United States hold England to a goalless draw. Here's Son under attack. Now hospital patients are being evacuated from the Ukrainian city because of constant Russian shelling. A 90-year-old Roman Catholic cardinal in Hong Kong is found guilty of failing to register a fund to help people arrested in anti-government protests. And the world's longest running theatre production, Agatha Christie's The Mousetrap, celebrates an incredible 70 years in London's West End. all of you watching on PBS and around the globe. A very warm welcome to World News America. Well, England and the United States have played their much-awaited World Cup match in Qatar. The result was a draw, a tie in American parlance, with neither side scoring a goal. England will be most satisfied with the result. Prior victory over Iran means almost certain qualification for the knockout stages. But the Americans were pretty impressive in this game and could still make it through. I must admit, I've not watched it myself. I might have to catch it quite soon. I'm Marianne Mashiri. Thank you so much for watching World News America. Stay with us on the BBC. Hello. The weather across much of Central and Western Europe has been very mild so far.